Hello and welcome to the second part of scripting for artists in Nuke. So this time we want to talk about the script editor. So before we dive in, let's go into the preferences. So go into edit preferences and there under panels, you have the script editor tab. So here uh, Nuke provides you with some options you can manipulate your script editor. The most important one is echo Python commands to output Windows. So this one should be checked in. So everything is fine so far. So, okay. So to open up the script editor, you go in the panel, Windows, and then go under the script editor. So now we have opened up the script editor and can use it. So at the top, we have some buttons, for example, uh, clear output window and things like that. And at, um, here is the console, which prints out the output. And at the bottom, we have the input. So in our case, um, let's start in and dive in with one command. So let's do a save. So if we want to do a save at first, we need, of course, because we use Python to import nuke. So we say import nuke and then we do nuke dot script save as and give them a path as a string. So if we, if we want to execute this command, we need to select it and then press control return. And now, yes, we want to overwrite, it's fine. So, and at the top you see um, at first the command we use, the code, and then the result like we printed nothing, we just saved it. And what we can also do, we can wrap this, this code into a function. So for example, here we define a function called save underline scene. And then we put in uh, with a tab um, the code and then we call the function. So if we would execute this one, it would be have the same effect, but it's wrapped in. And so be, because you can't use a function without calling it. So if we just use this one, nothing would happen. Okay, so let's have another example in um, the script editor. So one of the a very cool thing is, and quite important is you often have to open the current scene path. So uh, I will show you how to do that. So at first we need to import some uh, Python um, packages like operation system and web browser. And of course, again, import nuke. And then as we learned in the last video, we can access the current path by using this uh, code here. So, and we give it to the variable path. So if we would execute this part just, we will get the whole current path of our scene. So yeah, but this is not what we want. We want to have the path of the folder to open it up. So what we need to do is we need to trim down uh, the file name here. So how we do that? So um, Python has a function which is called operation system dot path dot dear name, the directional name. And if we would use this one to the path, we will get just eAlex and uh, trim down all the file uh, extension here. So, and now we want to open it up and we do it by uh, using the webbrowser.open function and give him the new path. So if we would execute this one, we would open the current path of our current scene, which is quite, quite handy sometimes to have it uh, in our disposal. Okay. So the next one is um, replacing old with new directory parts. So I have here a small scene with uh, a bunch of read notes and they're all broken since I moved the folder from one to another direction. So if we go in and we look at them, so here is uh, wallpaper two but I renamed the, it to just wallpaper and now uh, like all the read nodes are broken for that. But we can fix this with some lines of code. So again, we need to import nuke and then we need to define a um, node type. So we say we want uh, to access read nodes. Okay, that's fine. And then we need to write down what's the old path part. So the old path part would be wallpaper two. And the new one is just wallpaper. So what we, what we do next is we use for as a like a loop. 
And then we say, give me all nodes by the node type read, which we defined before, and iterate from one after another. So what we do now is we access one node after another and ask for the file value. So the file value is this one here, so you see file. So it would be this information here. So, and what we do it next is we say, okay, we have the file value and we want to replace the old path part, wallpaper two, with the new path part, just wallpaper. And then give it back and overwrite it again and then go through all the other read nodes and replace this. So if we would execute this one, you see, we, we uh, replaced all the old paths with a new path and they all functional again. And this is like some lines of code. And again, just ask, even if you get this from the internet, just ask, what can it do? And how can I manipulate it? And here, for example, we define read node. You can also define write nodes. And down here, we defined um, that we want to change this path to, to this path here and access the file knobs and replace them again. So, yes. So the next one is quite practical is if you want to create your own um, node network, which is quite handy, especially if you access it again and again. So here are some lines for, for you to digest. So for example, uh, the first two lines, I create two read nodes, and then I create a merge and a write node. Then I connect the merge node with the two read nodes and then I connect the right node with the merge node. So if I would execute these lines, I would create this one here. The two right nodes, the merge node, and the right node connected with each other. But that's not enough. I also want to change the, the current input. Like for example, I want to have the read nodes have an input image and have an output image in the right node. So I can access this by uh, using these lines here. Um, instead of before using value at the end, I, I want to set the value of file and give it a path, for example. So I give the two read nodes uh, different paths and then I have a result path for the write nodes. So if I would execute these lines, see I used this uh, foreground and this background and now I uh, added a, a file export and if I would render this, and go back to my file, I will get this result. So it's a very cool feature to create uh, your own networks um, using Python because it allows you to make them customizable for your scene. You want to create a scene and um, write small chunk of code and then just execute this one and create a whole bunch of, of customized version of, of your shot, for example. And you can make it much more complicated than that, but this is like a, an easy um, example. And, but it allows you to dive in and go deeper into how to access this kind of things. So, and last but not least is um, how to do, um, how to use external script files, because it's quite handy to, to use code and put it in external files and just use an import um, in your script editor instead of uh, always copying uh, all the code here back and forth. So before we can dive in, so let's check out um, our code base. So it's the same script we used before. It's the script save as in a function, save C with an import nuke. So this is all well and known. Um, but before we can use it, um, we need to put it in a path where nuke knows where it is. So one of the paths would be, it's here. Um, it's the, in Windows, it's C users, your login name, and then dot nuke. And here we copied our safe script pi. So now we want to access it. So to access any script which is in a 
in a in a safe path, which is in a like in a scripting path, you need to do at first an import of the name of the file. So import save online script, and then say save script dot save scene, which is the function. So if we would execute this one, we would use the save as function and um, inside this uh, script. So this is how it goes. So this is like a basic introduction of what you can do in uh, Nuke in terms of scripting and Python, especially um, how to use external files. And um, I hope you like this video and share it with people who are interested in this topic. And I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.